Today we are testing various materials to find out if they can conduct electricity. So when we say we're conducting electricity, we mean that the path of electricity uh, can pass through different materials. So I'm showing you a picture of all the different materials that we are going to test and then one by one we are going to test it in the circuit. So in the circuit we have our power source. So there's the 3 volt battery. It's going to go through a light and then we're going to put it in this gap, the material, and we'll connect it and then the wire, the electricity is going to continue back to the uh, battery. So if the material can conduct electricity, the light will shine. If it is an insulator, the light won't shine. Now you're going to write this up as an experiment and I've given you an answer sheet. So you're just going to fill in the blanks and along the line you're going to have to draw the circuit diagram of what you are seeing in front of you now. And we are also going to just make sure that this is working. So this is like our control. So I'm going to touch these two together. And if the circuit is operating correctly, the light will come on. There we go. Can you see that? And it's nice and bright. So one of the questions they ask you is to see how bright it is when they connect. So just try and make a memory picture of how bright that is. You can see there's a good light and there's a little bit of uh, shadow around on the outside so you can see that it is operating. So let's get started straight away. The first thing we're going to do is a bit of steel wool and I'm just going to connect that into the circuit. Well you can see it's already before I've even connected it and there you are you can see a nice uh, bright light and the flame is around it there. The, the, uh, lightness or the illumination is around there with a bit of shadow. All right, so you can put your mark there as to whether it is a conductor or not. The next one is a piece of string. So we'll conduct that, put the string in. Do we have any light? So what are you going to say? Is it a conductor or is it an insulator? Next one is an elastic band, a nice rubber band there. And do we have any electric flow? Here is a piece of plastic. It's just like a plastic tile. And we're going to connect that in with our crocodile clips. Not a picture. Not a light. Now I have a paper clip. So we'll connect that in. It's not a painted one. It's a metal one. There we go. Do you think that is as bright as the original one? You decide. Now we've got a piece of aluminium foil. This is a nice stiff one that I took from the coffee container. There we go. You can see how that is working. The next is a plastic straw. Oh, we're not allowed to use these anymore, but luckily I've got a stash there. Ah, no light whatsoever. I have a five cent coin. What was your guess? I hope you filled that form in. You've got to make a prediction first. There we go. Remember what is the coating on this? You'll have to think back to grade five. Here is a wood, a wooden sucker stick. Right, next one is a bottle cap from my milk bottle and these are made of bamboo so what is that going to show us just a plain white piece of paper connected in here And now I have a ceramic tile. So these are the kind of tiles you might have in your bathroom or in your shower, in your kitchen. It's made of ceramic. Superconductors they're starting to make out of these. And those are some special material. A nail. Galvanized iron nail. Okay, how bright does that look in comparison to our starter? 
let's just check it so now I've got nothing there nice and bright can you see that right here's a piece of cardboard and here's the chalk oh if I can fit the crocodile clips over its tip eee. look at that these teachers won't get shocks when they write on the blackboards he has a marble so this is going to be a problem I'm going to have to hold it on one side and put the nothing at all I have a piece of copper wire here I don't think I stole that I took it out of the inside so of course we would expect that to operate well I'm just while we're busy with it this is not a new one but this is just a piece of sheet copper so let's see if it operates the same there we go this is a piece of steel wire oh yes no doubt as to whether that is an insulator or a conductor the next one is lead, but unfortunately I've left my sinkers at school, so we can't do it. But if we had a lead sinker, then it would very weakly conduct the electricity, something similar to uh, some of the others that you're going to see just now. So I'm sorry about that. When we're at school, I will do it for you. This is the tab from a cool drink can. There we go see that nicely and here's my eraser just hold it on there it doesn't want to nip I have a pencil sharpener here hmm. ah, what was your guess now it wants to work now it doesn't so what is the thing so if we have a careful look at this you can see there is a blade here I'll put this end on the blade and if I put that on that it's shining can you see that but if I put it over here where the aluminium metal is and there there's no flow whatsoever so that's an interesting little Thing to notice there now I've got a pencil we're going to see if this lead of the pencil can transfer energy oh look I wonder if you can see that it's got a little glow there very dim glow look I'm going to take it off there you can see it's died can you see that let me do it once more for you can you see the little glow and if I take it off there you can see it goes off so the lead of the pencil. Right, so we've actually got to the end of our road, but I do have one more that's the split pin, and split pins are made of brass. So let's just see, I'll split it open. and see what happens. Oh, there we go. Okay, then just for fun, I thought we'd try some other things. I've got my gold ring. So we'll see, do you think gold can, uh, Conduct electricity. Let's have a look and see that's pure gold. Oh, we yeah, are. That's a nice bright light. And then what about a piece of polystyrene? Or oh, a cork. Right. So there we are, boys and girls. You're going to write up the rest of your experiment. And I hope you've enjoyed looking at um, things that can conduct or do not conduct electricity at all. Remember, if they don't conduct, we call them insulators. And I just want to show you the wires that we work with. They've got an insulation on the outside. This is made of plastic. And so this plastic prevents the electricity from flowing along and into my hand, but it also keeps the electricity. If you watch some of those videos that I've put on for you to see, then you will know that the electrons want to jump out. And so this wire, actually the plastic, actually contains the electrons inside there and makes a good flow.